Question is Public Affairs Analyst Razak Lukoba. Good morning. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Now, often a time we hear people say there is no smoke without a fire and that um, some of the things and rumors we hear must have stemmed out of something. But then we see the EFCC coming out to say that we need to set the record straight at this point because investigations are still ongoing, discreet as it is, and we have recovered this amount of monies that we mentioned earlier. But what do you think could be stirring up these kinds of conversations, rumors? Yes, we have seen some persons protest to say that we need... Uh, for instance, uh, better do reinstated. We have seen some women come out to make, you know, just to exercise perhaps their franchise, their, not franchise now, their rights as it is. But then, where is this stemming from? Well, thank you very much. Uh, the attitude of public is not uh, limited to only the rest of the world. It also extends to Nigerians public uh, draw conclusions that are far away from the truth regarding government policies oftentimes. And that is why it is very, very good for EFCC to come out to say this. Because if EFCC did not come out to clear the air, that conclusion may go, continue to become uh, the permanent position in the perception of uh, the public that certain, thing has, certain people have been cleared. But I would like to join the uh, EFCC to appeal to Nigerians for calm. We are interested as members of civil society to put behind bar all the people that are involved in the measurement of corrupt practices. But be that as it may, the law all over the world is also very careful. In fact, stated clearly that uh, in the pursuit of criminal times, when the air is not too clear, guilty people might attempt to escape the law in order to prevent the innocent of being punished. I hope you got my point. That when somebody that is guilty ran into the midst of mm. innocent people, mm. you better let it go. So what I'm saying in essence is that uh, there should be precision and accuracy right. in this matter. Oftentimes, EFC has gone to court and they, 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 they embarrass them because they didn't do a thorough work by, before they go to court. So we don't want a repeat of such instances because the past minister uh, at, at, and better Edu is a clear signal to public office holder that uh, this is a government that will not tolerate abuse of public ethics. So. And if that is the case, that means if you want to get to the root of the matter, allow ESCC to do it so meticulously. It's very, very important. Of course, people might be asking for a statement. That's uh, this, this are politics. But what has happened is a, as an indication that uh, the way civil service affairs has been run and the political class has also conducted the affair in Nigeria, there's a bit of confusion. And that is an opportunity for us to be able to streamline the role of a director in the ministry, where it stops. It should not be ambiguous again. Where a director performs his duty, it is, must be clearly stated that uh, I have done my part. Next is for the permanent, permanent secretary. The permanent secretary must not be under the guise of advising the, the minister, only for him to say that I've told, I've, 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 I, 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 I have expressed my concern about this. No, that's not too good, too good for us. Mm. If it is within the jurisdiction of the minister to take a decision, let him be held responsible for it. The prime minister and the, the, the permanent secretary is the accounting officer of the ministry. Where the, the box stops, let the law clear it. As it is now, there's a confusion over uh, the, the role of permanent secretary and the political uh, 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 appointees. Mm. Where it is not the law for permanent secretary to advise that decision is not standing, and it's not a compelling uh, advice on the minister. And that is the case with uh, Beta Edu. The permanent secretary said that uh, on this matter, I express my concern, but the minister, the minister feels otherwise. We don't want such situation again. We want a situation where the permanent secretary can say no 